breaking news. New feature text to speech. Welcome everybody. Today we'd like to talk about the exciting new feature text to speech. To demonstrate, I'm going to simply take a default title, drop it on the timeline, we'll double click it, and we'll change this to whatever. From there, with the clip highlighted, you can choose text to speech. Here you can set your language, English, English UK, etc, etc. So if you're trying to do a video and you want to have a portion of it pop up in um, Chinese or Russian or Spanish or whatever, for example, this is what you can do. I'll go ahead and use Spain here. Spain has two voices you can use and you can click these and hear them. Wonderser Creatividad Simplificada. That's Anna. Wonderser Creatividad Simplificada. And that's Bob. So that's how you can do it in different languages. We'll go back to U.S. and we have quite a few more here. We'll use Jack, for example. Wondershare. Creativity simplified. Okay. And we can take Jack's voice and change the pitch. Wondershare. Creativity simplified. Let's do a higher pitch. Let's, let's give him a deep voice here. Wondershare. Creativity simplified. You can also speed up and slow down. Wonder share. Creativity simplified. Now I know you can hear the difference there. We'll, we'll speed it up this time. Wonder share. Creativity simplified. And that's really good if you're trying to match up the um, voice over to whatever's on the screen. So if something's really fast on the screen, like a, a basketball, and you want to say basketball really fast, that's how you can do it. For now, we'll take all these back to normal and say okay. Right here in your services text to speech it shows you what it's doing default title whatever how many characters it was and i'll explain why in a minute why that's important and that completed or not and you you can do text to speech by the character uh, i currently have 4803 remaining you can buy more characters um if you want We'll go ahead and look at that screen real quick for you. So this is your text to speech plan. For, you can get 100,000 characters for $3.99 a month or 200,000 for $6.99 a month. And there is no difference other than that. So you can get a whole lot of characters for very little money. So now that it's finished, let's see what it did. It's added a new audio track right here for us and let's go ahead and back up just a bit and we'll listen to it whatever okay you can adjust that audio just it's now an audio track you can do whatever you want with it whatever so there i changed the volume if i double click the audio track uh, i can use ducking which is what i did over here so when i used in my demo it said new features i ducked the, the audio so it was louder and that got lowered and uh, you can also um, change the pitch right here as well. So if you finished your transcribing and you're like, oh man, I really wanted to uh, raise that pitch, but I don't want to spend money on more characters, just go over here and change it. What? Now we got a Donald Duck. So, yeah, it's funny. That is text to speech. Now, let's do something just a little more complicated. Let's test it out. So once again, I'm going to pick, um, just to show you that it doesn't have to be the default, I'm just gonna pick uh, an, an opener here. Let's just download, it. download one real quick. All right, so there's an opener with some text. Okay, let's drag that to the timeline. Let's watch. This has no music, no audio, no nothing. Double click it, and we're gonna change this up. Oh, what a nice font on that, isn't it?
There you go. Same idea. If we're not on the clip, we want to go on the clip that we want the speech, the text to speech to work on. You can right click and go to text to speech. You can also use that little button right there. So we'll just try it from here this time. Text to speech. Let's pick Nancy. Double click. Water share. There you Creativity go. Creativity simplified. So you can see what Nancy's voice is going to be like. I'm going to slow her down just a bit. And I'm going to increase the pitch of her voice very slightly. These transcriptions are matched to the timeline, as you can see. But you can change that to wherever you want it to show up. So right now, it's going to start right at, it matched it up. As soon as the text comes on the screen, the text-to-speech works. Phil Mora as great. Okay. But sometimes, let's separate these, sometimes you want that text to come in a little later. Phil Mora as great. Okay. And there you go. So sometimes you need to turn Ripple off to get some things deleted without everything jumping around. Then you just turn Ripple back on. Here's an extra tip for you. <laughs> so that's it, guys. This is a very short video because this is a very easy, quick um, feature. It's just simple. You take some sort of title, you type in something, you pick your audio, you adjust it, and it will convert that audio, uh, that text line to audio, to vocals. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about this feature. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you real soon on the next video.